Gorsi's music world. They're singing in history and musical literacy. Mr. Gorsi's music world. We're living the dream starts here. Hi, and welcome to Mr. Dorsey's Music World, fifth grade music lesson number three. What are we going to do today? Let's find out. We're going to be working on five activities today. The first is an African American spiritual all night, all day. We're going to be learning the refrain. Then we're going to work on the partner songs, Skip to My Lou and Sandy Land. Then we're going to work on another African American spiritual, Go Down Moses. Then we're going to move it to pantomime. And then we're going to do two music literacy activities using the dotted quarter eighth note rhythm. Okay, so we're going to warm up with a, an African American spiritual all night, all day. We're just going to learn the refrain. And we're learning this because it has uh, low so and low la in it. It also has T in it for one note, but we're not going to worry about that right now. All right, so echo after me. All night. All day. Angels watching over me, my Lord. All night. All day. Angels watching over me. Okay, now I'll sing it and you echo after me. All night. All day. Angels watching over me, my Lord. All night, all day, angels watching over me. And now let's sing it together. Here we go. One, two, ready, sing all night, all day. Angels watching over me, my Lord, all night, all day. Angels watching over me. Flies in the buttermilk, sand, fly shoe. Make my buttermilk, sand, fly shoe. Flies in the buttermilk, sand, fly land. Skip to my little, my darling. Sweet banana bread. What was that? Let's let's see that again. Flies in the buttermilk, sand, fly land. Make my buttermilk, sand, fly land. Flies in the buttermilk, sand, fly land. Skip to my little, my darling. Wow. Okay. So what was happening there? There's a lot to unpack. So is that a round? No, you're right. It's not a round because a round would be something where it's the same song sung at different times. This was, they started and ended at the same time and they were singing different songs. These are called partner songs, obviously, because partners go together. So hopefully. Um, so over the next two lessons, we're going to take apart and learn how to sing Sandy Land and Skip to My Lou together as partner songs. Now, just like you've done with the rounds, try it with a friend, try it with a family member. You know, we're not here in school right now. Um, do it with Mr. Dorsey on when he's side by side, the both of us. Pick one, then do the other. So let's learn these two songs. They're pretty easy. Okay, so skip to my Lou. So this is a pretty popular, well-known song, but just in case you don't, it's fine. Let's learn it. Flies in the buttermilk, shoe, fly, shoe. 
flies in the buttermilk shoe fly shoe. Flies in the buttermilk shoe fly shoe. Skip to my loo, my darling. Now, before we try to sing that one together, notice that even though the lyrics or the words to the song happen three times are the same and then the last time is different, they are not sung the same way. The melody and pitches are different. So the first line goes, Now listen to the second line. You hear that? The rhythm is the same. The, the pitches are different. So you have to watch out for that. And then the third line is the same as the first line. So now let's try it all together. Here we go. One, two, ready and sing. Fies in the buttermilk shoe, fi shoe. Fies in the buttermilk shoe, fi shoe. Fies in the buttermilk shoe, fi shoe. Skip to my loo, my darling. Okay, let's learn Sandy Land. Echo after me. Make my living in the Sandy Land. Make my living in the sandy land. Make my living in the sandy land. Ladies, fare thee well. So again, just like Skip to My Lou, it follows the same pattern. The three first three lines, the lyrics are exactly the same. The fourth line, the lyrics are different. And just like Skip to My Lou, the first line and the third line of Sandy Land are the same. The second line is different. The rhythm is the same, the pitches are different. So now let's try that one together, okay? To ready and sing, make my living in the sandy land, make my living in the sandy land, make my living in the sandy land, lady fare thee well. Okay, so now that you know both parts, now we put it together. So I'm going to play the video that uh, I showed you at the beginning. I'm going to do it two times in a row. So you have a chance to kind of practice it a couple times. You can go back and do this whole section again. You know, whatever it takes to help you get it right. Remember, we're going to follow some of the kind of the same strategies that we use when we do a round. So in a round, remember, we have to still listen to the other part. It's because we're trying to make music. We're not just trying to sing your part and I can't think about them right now because it's how it goes together. That's why we do, do them as partner songs. Now the challenge is, yes, you gotta be very confident about what you're singing in order for you to kind of listen to the other part and the other people singing around you. So let's give it a try. Um, next week, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add the second verse to both parts, so it'll make it a little bit longer, okay? Make my living in the sandy land. 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 Make my living in the Mr. Dorsey's Music World History Minute. Harriet Tubman was born around the year 1820 in Bucktown, Maryland. 
She was one of 11 children. Her real name is Araminta Ross. Harriet comes from her mother's first name, and Tubman comes from the last name of her first husband. In 1849, she escaped slavery to freedom. She then became a conductor on the Underground Railroad, and between the years 1849 and 1860, made 19 trips to the South, risking her life to free upwards of 300 people. During the Civil War, she led an armed assault at Combahee Ferry, South Carolina, which led to over 700 slaves being freed. After the war, she retired to Auburn, New York. She ran a home for the aged and was active in the women's suffrage or right to vote movement. She died in 1913 at the age of 93. Mr. Dorsey's Music World History Minute. The song we're going to do today is an old African-American spiritual called Go Down Moses. Now, why did we show a video of Harriet Tubman? Well, because Harriet Tubman's awesome. That's why. But secondly, her nickname was Moses. She was the Moses of her people because like Moses in the Old Testament of the Bible, Harriet Tubman led her people to freedom. So I'm going to teach you the refrain to this song. Echo after me. Go down, Moses. Way down in Egypt's land. Tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. Echo after me. Here we go. Go down, Moses. Way down in Egypt's land. Tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. Okay, let's sing it together. One, two, ready and sing. Go down, Moses. Way down in Egypt's land. Tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. When Israel Tell 
Dorsey's Music World Lyric Vocabulary. <clears throat> Go down Moses, the African American spiritual. Israel. In this song, it means the people of Israel or the Israelites. Egypt, a country in Northeast Africa. Oppressed, cruel or unjust treatment, slavery. Moses is a religious figure in several religions, including Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Pharaoh, a ruler in ancient Egypt. Bondage, toil, hard work in slavery. Spoil or riches. The third verse of this song. In the Old Testament, the Israelites came to the Red Sea. The sea parted so that they could escape to freedom. Triumph, victory or win. Mr. Dorsey's Music World Lyric Vocabulary It's time to move it, move it start off by reading these four rhythms. So let's read them and then we will name the notes and then we will explain how many sounds and beats each symbol is. Okay, so let's look at pattern A. We're going to read through it three times. Then we're going to go over the symbols in each measure and then we're going to explain how many sounds and beats it is okay so let's look at letter a one two ready and go ta ti ta ta okay second time ready and go ta ti ta ta third time ready and go ta ti ta ta so how many symbols are there in that measure right there are four symbols we have the dotted quarter note, the eighth note, quarter note, and another quarter note. So remember that the dot adds half the value of the note it's next to. <clears throat> so a 
dotted quarter note, a regular quarter note is how many beats? Right, it's one beat, fits inside one beat. And the dot will add half of that. So half of one is a half. So we add those two together. One plus one half equals one and one half beats. Then we have the eighth note. Remember that is only a half a beat. So that's why the dotted quarter note and the eighth note together equal two beats. Ta T. Right. One and a half beats plus a half a beat equals two beats. Then we have our quarter note, which is one sound and one beat. And then <clears throat> the other quarter note is one sound and one beat. So let's look at pattern B. One, two, ready and go. Ta, ti, ta. Ready and go. Ta, ti, ta. Ready and go. Ta, ti, ta. So again, we have the dotted quarter note at the beginning, followed by the eighth note, followed by a quarter note, and then what's that? That's right, that's the quarter rest. The dotted quarter note again is, right, one and one half beats. The eighth note is a half a beat. So those two together equal two beats, right. Then we have our quarter note, which is one sound in one beat. And then we have our quarter rest. Does it have a note head? Right, it doesn't have a note head. So it is zero sound. It is one beat long. All right. Let's look at pattern C. Let's do that one three times. One, two, ready and go. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Again, ready and go. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Third time, ready and go. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. All right, so again, at the beginning, we have our dotted quarter note, our eighth note, and then we have... Right, two eighth notes, some people call them paired eighth notes, and then quarter note. So again, we have dotted quarter note is one and one half beats. Eighth note is a half a beat. Those two together equal two beats. Our two eighth notes, our paired eighth notes, are how many sounds? Right, two, because there's two note heads, and the beam connects them into, right, one beat. And then we have our quarter note, which we already went over, which is one sound in one beat. All right, last one, letter D. One, two, ready and go. Ta, ti, ta. All right, again, ready and go. Ta, ti, ta. One more time, ready and go. Ta, ti, ta. All right, so again, we have our dotted quarter note, eighth note rhythm. And then the last symbol in that is a... Right, half note, there you go. So we already have gone over what a dotted quarter note, eighth note equals two beats together, one and a half beats plus a half a beat. The half note is how many sounds? Right, one sound, because there's one no head and it's not colored in, it is two beats long. Okay, so let's improvise or spontaneously create. So I'm gonna play my cajon drum. I'm going to get a beat going. I will say some rhythms, and you try to say some different rhythms back to me, okay? Try to, I mean, whatever you want. As you get more advanced, you try to create a rhythm that kind of complements what I'm doing, whether it's similar but a little different, or it builds on something I've done before. But let's just try it. Let's have some fun, okay? Ta ti ta ta. Ta ti ta ti ta. Ta ti ta ti ta ti. Ta ti ta ka ti ki ta ti. Cinco pa ta ti ta. Cinco pa ta ka ti ki ta ti. Ta ti ta ta ti ta. Ta ti ta ti ta ti. 
Cinco patatita. Tati 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 ta. Tati ta. Tati ta. Okay, great job, everybody. That's it for today. I hope you learned something. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Mr. Dorsey's Music World. We're singing in history and musical literacy. Mr. Dorsey's Music World. We're living the dream star team.